Another tool that's moved to the new Compliance Center from Microsoft 365 is the Content Search. So if you scroll down under Solutions, you'll find Content Search right here. And Content Search, you build searches and then you can run that search and it will find content for you and report back where that content is located at. So you might use this if you're trying to monitor communication related to a specific subject or if you're trying to find documentation related to a specific uh, event, something like that. So here's how this works. Click on new search and we're going to give the search a name. So I'm going to search for Bazit and then a description if you want to use a description. So I'm going to click Next, and then we're going to specify the locations that we want included. So we can look for Exchange Mailboxes, SharePoint Sites, or Exchange Public Folders. And then we can add app content for on-premise users. So let's do a search for Mailboxes, and then we can choose what's included, what's excluded, specific users, groups, or teams. I'm just going to leave everybody at the moment. And then I can do the same thing for SharePoint sites and exchange public folders. So click Next and then Conditions. I want to find the word Bassett. So these are keywords that I'm looking for. And I can do you know, individual keywords or as a list here, whichever is going to be more convenient. So get rid of my keyword list there. All right, so keywords, and then add any specific conditions. So we can look for specific dates, senders, authors, retention labels, participants. You get the idea. So any of these extra conditions that we want added to it. And click Next. We review our search information. And then when we're all happy with it, we submit our search. Now the search, once we get the new search created, click Done. That's going to show up here, and here's our new search, when the last time it was ran, when it was modified, the description if we have one. Now if I click on it, it's going to show me a summary of all the information, and it's going to show me the status. This right here will tell me what's going on with it. So the uh, search is starting, we found zero items, zero unindexed items in zero mailboxes. Now this is just going to run in the background. So it'll take a little while for that search to get done. Once that search is done, you scroll over here, you'll see the status as well. Once that search is done, then, hey, it has completed. Then I'll be able to go back in and see if it actually found anything. So I found 40 items here related to uh, my search in six mailboxes. So I can click on Review Sample and it can't find it because I'm not assigned the preview role. Fine, whatever. Go ahead and close. Have to assign myself that role in order to be able to view it. But if you have that role, then you can preview a sample and see what it looks like. You also have search statistics up here where it'll show you your content, two locations, what we found, the condition report, and we already know not to preview sample. Um, there we go. And that'll give us that basic information about the search. Now I can also, whoops, didn't mean to click on that. I can also export that data, provided that I have the rights to export that data. And we'll see if it shows me my information here in a CSV file. That just gave me a real quick summary of it. So I need to actually be able to view the data and I haven't given myself the rights to do that yet. Okay, the other thing I want you to see here under actions. So export report, export results, edit search, rerun search. Let's go ahead and export results here. All items, we'll export it. And yep, that's what I thought. I haven't given myself the results yet. But that's where you would get access to it. Now you also can rerun that search at any time. So I can rerun the search, say it's been, you know, two weeks now, I want to see what other activity has happened on that particular uh, topic, then I can rerun that search at that point. 
Just remember, you got to give yourself permissions in order to be able to view it or give somebody permissions. So you can have one person be able to run the uh, report and maybe preview the results. Another person who's actually going to use it uh, have the permission to actually export it. So it just depends on who you want to have access to that information. So that is real quick how to do the content search in the new compliance center. Now real quick something just caught my eye and I want to make sure I point that out and that is up here we have permissions and this is where I would go in and I would assign myself permissions to export or review or whatever permissions I wanted to give myself or anybody else who's going to be managing data in this compliance center.